my kitchen. We have a lot to get done today. I ran and got groceries quickly this morning. I have to get all my produce prepped. I have to get some food prepped for the week ahead. We have a lot to get done today. So give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's jump into my grocery haul. I feel like that's a lot of groceries for $125. But then when I look back at my old grocery hauls, like from a year ago, this would have cost me like 80. <laughs> this is where the grocery increase price started feeling like it was happening because I started watching old videos of mine thinking, wow, I can't believe I used to pay that for this or this for that. Like I might have to go through and do a couple old budget videos from last year or 2020 and see what I can remake for the same price. Please pause while I take a thumbnail photo. Let's jump in because you can see there's a lot of freshness because I have a lot of pasta, lentils, beans, rice on hand, and this will kind of supplement everything. So for starters, something I don't typically buy, but they were on sale for $5 and I had a coupon, so it brought it down to $3. And my husband does really like these in the morning, especially on the weekends. So I was like, you know what? Treat yourself. If you gotta buy adult stuff, you treat yourself to something every so often. Pineapple, because they were two bucks, 250. I feel like that's a good price for a pineapple. We love these little potatoes. They're not super budget friendly. They're like 350 a pound compared to like russets that are like a dollar a pound, but they're so good and I wanna make them for meal prep this week. So I kind of splurged. Baby carrots were on sale at 99 cents. Uh, bananas were 59 cents a pound. I always keep bananas on stock. I have some in the freezer too. And if these don't get eaten this week, which this is the perfect banana to me. Mostly yellow, a couple spots. Like, I wanna eat one of those right now. Mushrooms, I found them on sale. I was so happy. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. Maybe make a mushroom gravy. Grapes, strawberries, sweet potatoes. These are the traditional sweet potatoes, the orange ones, these are the white ones. I only got a couple, but oh my gosh, the recipe I'm gonna share with you with these today, I shared on Instagram this morning, so good. I can't stop making it. You guys are gonna love it. You're not gonna be able to stop making it. And I want you to tag me on Instagram when you try it. Dates for a protein bar. I'm gonna make that today with you guys. I love snack bars and bites and all that stuff. And these were on sale, buy one, get one free, which yeah, I mean, please add the word free. You can upcharge me and basically make me pay for both. But if you make me pretend that one is free, I'll accept that. So we're gonna do a bar and you could probably substitute for basically anything else besides dates, but I'm date obsessed. This is new to me. I've never seen this before. Sweet chili garlic hummus. Sounded really good. Kind of expensive. I've been making homemade hummus for like weeks and weeks and weeks. I can tag a couple recipes down below for my blog, but sometimes when you're hungry and you go grocery shopping, you end up with stuff like this in your cart. Uh, tofu was on sale three for five bucks. So I grabbed six of them. I honestly will probably have one of these every single day between me and my husband. So like this isn't even really a stock up, but there wasn't that many left. And I didn't want to be that person who grabs like 14 tofus, 15 tofus. You know what I mean? Like I didn't want to be that person. So I just took six. Uh, my husband requested these. I'm not really sure what he's going to do with them. <laughs> I think he might want them for like lentil tacos or to put beans in or potatoes. I don't know, but he's probably going to use those for that. I didn't realize I grabbed the sugar-free one. I was just looking at prices and this was the cheapest one. I don't know how this is gonna taste, but I got some almond butter for the recipe, but then I got this to also put on rice cakes, which I really like to have rice cakes, nut butter, and jelly before a run. So good, so good. My husband also requested bagels. I call them beagles because I'm from Minnesota. I think the proper word is bagel, but I call them beagles. The A is an E. <laughs> These are the pumpkin spice Thomas ones. He said, if you find pumpkin spice bagels, he said bagels, bagels, bagels. I can't, I can't. Please pause while I reset my mouth. He requested these. He said, if you can find them at the store, please pick some up. He likes these toasted in the morning with like a plant-based butter. He loves those for breakfast. And then I decided to grab him these sourdough um, English muffins because you buy two and you got a dollar off or something like that. I don't know, it was in the app, so I don't know. Uh, I already showed you rice cakes, zucchini, cucumber, and these are really gross, <laughs> but they need washed. So that's my grocery haul. I feel like that's a lot for $125. Now I gotta get it all prepped and prepared for the week ahead. Okay, I had to have like a snack before I started all my meal prep because I'm hungry. And I tried this just now, so good. 
so good. The sweet chili, honestly, I bet you could take sweet chili sauce and put it in a homemade hummus and it would taste just like this. But this flavor is phenomenal. This was supposed to be for potatoes, but like one rice cake won't hurt. But if you can find it, try it. If not, try to make your own. Like I said, sweet chili sauce would probably be really good. Well, hey, how's it going, friend? I am so happy you are here today. Let's start with all my produce prep. So one of the things I saw recently on Instagram that kind of shocked me was a meme that was like, I love buying produce every single week so I can throw it away and buy it again the next week. And I think this is because a lot of people don't prep their produce. Guilty, 100%. But if I have the time, I love to do this exact routine on the weekend. I go to the grocery store. I purchase my groceries. I come home. I clean out my fridge. I wipe it down, which I didn't share with you. I realized I was charging my camera battery, so you missed out on that lovely process. But I do have a video over on my cleaning channel if you want to check that out. Clean out my refrigerator, wipe it down, get everything prepped and ready for the week. And it gives me like, I feel like the leg up. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I feel like my week runs really smooth and then come like Wednesday evening when I have more time, I can do a little bit more meal prep for the week ahead. This week we actually had Green Chef delivered and I'll share with you a meal by them, which I actually love putting into my grocery budget. I know that everyone's grocery budget is really, really different and that's okay. That's the difference between everyone's households. I like to share what works for us and a lot of times it's buying a big bulk, you know, thing of groceries that I did a lot of times over the summer. Sometimes it's buying fewer groceries. Sometimes it's doing really quick budget meals. We do everything here, but I love to share a plethora of things that work for me and my husband. And I'm obsessed with washing, chopping produce. Let me know if you guys are too. It just makes me so happy to be in my kitchen and to get everything done. And then when I open my refrigerator on either Sunday or Monday morning and seeing all the goodness in my fridge, it makes me so happy. And personally, I think for $125, I got a lot of stuff. Yes, I didn't get our normals, oats, rice, beans, pasta, because I have a lot of that already on hand, but I do feel like I got a lot of stuff for $125. And I think I meal planned really, really well to get us through the next couple of weeks. You are going to see a grocery use it all up, no spend video coming from me. I have a lot of stuff in my pantry that I wanted to use up. So I typically will take into account things that are already pre-opened or things that I know need to be used up in my pantry. So make sure you subscribe because you're not going to want to miss this next video. I have quite a few of those videos here on my channel already and they're super popular. I feel like they're really helpful for anyone who's looking for just pantry meal ideas. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. I do try to post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so turn your notifications on because it's not always every single week that I can get a video posted on those three days, but I try my best. So strawberries are definitely at the end of their season. I mean, they're still good, but they're not like they were in June and July. So I don't know if I'll be buying fresh strawberries after this batch. These were okay, a little sour, but mostly good. I feel like we're just on the last leg of strawberries. Now for the strawberry tops, I have shared this before, but I'm going to keep sharing it in case someone is new and they need a new idea. I save the strawberry tops. I put them in a little baggie. Sometimes I mark them with a Sharpie. If I know I'm going to use them like the next week, I don't bother marking them, but I save them and I put them in my smoothies. Yes, you can eat strawberry tops. They're perfectly fine to eat. I once thought they were poisonous, but they're not. <laughs> You can throw them in a smoothie. You will not taste the greenness of it. There's enough strawberry on it that it kind of tastes like spinach a little bit. I don't know. I put strawberry, banana, spinach, a little bit of protein powder, and usually some almond milk in a smoothie. It's fantastic. So don't throw your strawberry tops away. I think they're fantastic in a smoothie. I hope you give it a try.
cucumber salad recipe on Pinterest last week, and I might make like a cucumber spicy mayo. I would use vegan mayo, a little bit of sriracha, a little bit of salt. I think it was banana peppers. I don't know. I might get adventurous. Otherwise, I might just eat them as a snack because I'm a cucumber obsessed. And I peeled them because I think there's like a wax on them. I don't know. It makes the, the outsides kind of weird sometimes, so I peel them. And I don't do anything with those peels. Sorry, not sorry. Sometimes I just can't find a use for some things. I try to use my strawberry tops and all my little scraps to make veggie broth and stuff like that. But sometimes I just don't have a use for it. So as for the sweet potatoes, if you follow me on Instagram at Flourishing Miranda, you probably already saw this recipe. I'm obsessed. I might even make this as a side dish for Thanksgiving. So you're going to wash, scrub, chop all your sweet potatoes. And then it's super simple. You add some salt, balsamic vinegar, and an apple butter. I have the Trader Joe's apple cider fruit spread, which is just a fancy way of saying apple butter. I mean, it's the same thing. You could even make your own. A couple of people on Instagram said they have apple butter from their local orchard, which sounds amazing. You could even use a pumpkin butter if you want to, but you just mix all those things together in a bowl with your sweet potatoes, bake them at 425 for about 40, 45 minutes until they're nice and soft. And oh my gosh, it's the best side dish ever. I've been eating it with tofu on the side. So you'll see that I'm going to prep some tofu here in a little bit, but literally it tastes like fall and I'm just going to keep making them until I'm tired of them. Like I said, I probably will make it as a side for Thanksgiving because it's so good. Let me know. Oh, please let me know down in the comments below. Last year I did a budget friendly Thanksgiving. I think I did my budget set for $25 to share a Thanksgiving dinner. I believe it would feed about four people if I remember correctly. Let me know down below if you'd like to see something like that again this year, because I need to get working on it like yesterday, <laughs> but let me know. I'd love to put that video up and I'll probably try my best to get it up the first or second week in November. So let me know if you're interested in something like that. I'd love to hear your feedback um, because that is like a process to film that style video because I have to meal plan and shop and then we have to eat Thanksgiving food for like an entire week. <laughs> so let me know, but definitely, definitely make note of this recipe. It's super easy. Like I said, salt, balsamic vinegar, a little bit of apple butter, toss them. Doesn't have to be perfect. Put them on a uh, baking dish with parchment paper, throw them in the oven, 425. They're so good. They're like candied yams. I, I literally don't even think I made enough. <laughs> These will go by so fast between me and my husband eating them this week that I'll have to make another batch probably very soon with those white sweet potatoes. As for tofu, I'm super, super simple. I just lined it in a glass baking dish that I did spray with some avocado spray just so it wouldn't stick and they would make my pan super easy to wash out when I'm done. And then I just sprinkled it with some seasoning. You can use anything you have on hand. I throw this in the oven also at 425 for about 20 minutes. And then I just, when it's done, I pop it in a Tupperware. Like it's actually a reusable like to-go container that came from somewhere. I don't know, it's in my house, so it came from somewhere but I just pop it in the fridge. And then what I like to do is we can just kind of take what we need throughout the week. If we want to have, you know, put together a lunch, I didn't put together like individual meals. It's just like meal prep. So if you want to take the potatoes out, put them on a plate, take the um, tofu out, put on a plate, have some fruit, have some veggies, whatever you decide to have, you can kind of make your own meal. And that's what I decided to do for this week. Sometimes I'll make individual meal prep containers all portioned out this week. I just didn't have the time, nor did I want to. It just kind of depends on the week for me. So hopefully this will give you another idea. I thought I would also share with you the dinner I actually made the night before to give you all a new idea. This 
is actually from Green Chef, and Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company, and they have options for every single lifestyle, keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. I share all the time about Green Chef here on my channel. My husband and I love them. We personally love adding them into our personal budget because we love eating from home. Well, I should say I like eating from home. Let's be honest. Most men, they just want to go out to eat. Am I right? Please leave me a comment down below and tell me your husband's not like mine, where that's just like the convenient option for them. For me, I want to cook at home. I want to eat nice, healthy meals at home and Green Chef helps me do that. This fall, choose Green Chef to experience premium balanced meals that excite your palate and support your healthy lifestyle. You can elevate your dinner experience with their finest fall collection, and this sheet pan meal was amazing. Green Chef always encourages me to try new things, try new vegetables, try new seasonings, try new spices, and every time I get a box, I'm like so excited to make the meal, and it's great for us to work into our own personal budget, so that way it's still less expensive than going out to eat. We have a really nice healthy meal at home and this dish was too good not to share. The awesome thing about Green Chef is it's delivered directly to your door. So it saves you a lot of time. If you don't wanna to go to the grocery store, have a busy week, you can just order it out of convenience and have it delivered right to your doorstop. And they now have new 10 minute lunches available on the menu each week, which I personally cannot wait to try. I haven't tried them yet this month, but I really want to because I feel like that convenient option is everything for anyone who works a really, really busy schedule, might work from home, or has the time to make a quick 10 minute meal just for dinner or for lunch. Make sure to click the link in my description box. Use my code Miranda135 to get $135 off across five boxes plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. It's definitely not any type of secret or anything new. If you've been around my channel for any amount of time, I love like protein bars, energy bars, little energy bites, and I love to make them homemade because they're way cheaper. Like paying three to $4 for a vegan protein bar. Yes, I love the convenience of it. Yes, I do buy them. I just have a hard time eating one every single day, but when I make them from home, they're a lot more inexpensive. I do still keep them on hand in my pantry because sometimes having something that's prepackaged is way more convenient to take on the go and throw in my purse. Yes, you can always take a homemade protein bar and put it in like a Ziploc baggie, but it always just ends up turning into granola for me. But these bars were so delicious. I will type the recipe and leave it in my blog. I use 10 dates, a little bit of agave, a little bit of chia seeds, a little bit of almond butter, some protein that I actually found last week on sale at our local grocery store. Love that. It was like $8. It was on clearance probably because they're discontinuing it. Um, it wasn't expired. It doesn't expire until late next year. But I went ahead and just mixed all those up in my food processor, added some oats, a little bit of water, and then put them into a glass baking dish with a little bit of, again, of avocado spray. So that way it didn't stick on my dish and then I could wash it really easily. Put it in my oven. Since I had everything else going in my oven at 425, I went and threw this in at 425. I would definitely next time will throw it back to 350 for about 12 minutes. And these bars were so good. I actually ate one as soon as I was done with this um, when I was cleaning up my kitchen. So I had two snacks. Well, I was also eating some of the fruit when I was prepping it because that's one of the best parts for me about like cutting fruit is just eating it as you're cutting it. So I had quite a few snacks this day while I was getting everything done, but I highly recommend trying these bars. They're so good. I get questions all the time about, you know, making bars without bananas. So I thought I'd throw one in, even though I got bananas today. I also got dates. You could definitely substitute for pumpkin with this if you wanted to, bananas, because bananas are a great replacement for dates. Um, applesauce, maybe zucchini, carrots. You could do a plethora of different things if you don't wanna purchase the dates, but they're super sweet because of the dates and they do remind me a lot of a bar that I would purchase from the store. But this ended up being six bars, so I could have one every single day if I wanted to.
The last little bit on my to-do list today was to clean the entire kitchen and get everything reset as it was when I got home from the grocery store, minus the few dishes I had to do really quickly before I did my produce prep. But I decided to add this in for a couple of reasons. One, I think a lot of times when we watch meal prep or get it all done, we see the, us, the aesthetic side of everything. We see how pleasing to the eye and how beautiful everything is when it's done. What we don't see is the hard work that goes into it. In total, with filming, this took me about an hour and 40 minutes. If I wasn't filming, I would definitely be able to rock this out in about an hour. But I don't want to do a whole bunch of meal prep and get everything done for the week and then turn around and have a kitchen that has tons of dishes that need cleaned up and I need to, you know, wipe down all the surfaces and wash the floors. So I just thought I'd throw this in because that's part of my get it all done, so much to do activity two, is I have to space enough time out for us, for me, to be in the kitchen for any length amount of time to get everything done. And I think adding this in can be really valuable because that way, if you are someone who's like, okay, I wanna make all these things, you don't turn around and go, oh my gosh, there's so many dishes, there's so much cleanup. And for me, the entire process is grocery shopping, food prepping, uh, doing the dishes as I go. I started my dishwasher this day as I was getting everything done. These are the extra ones that didn't fit in the dishwasher or don't go in the dishwasher. And then I wiped down all my surfaces and I tin comb my floor. So that way, when I am done in the kitchen and all the food is cooled and put away, my kitchen is perfectly tidy. So I can be done for a couple of days. And the only thing I have to do is pull the food out of the refrigerator, eat it, warm it up, and do the dishes. I don't have to reset my whole kitchen again. So I hope this would encourage you as well. So you know that I have a lot of things that are on my to-do list too. It's not just cutting beautiful fruits and veggies. It's just not making everything beautiful and aesthetic and pleasing. But my kitchen does look really good when it's all cleaned up. And it always makes me really, really happy when I see it all clean and tidy. And it's set to go for the next time that I'm in my kitchen. It just makes me so, so happy. Thank you so much for spending the day with me in my kitchen. I hope it inspired you for your own home as well, or you just were entertained watching me run around, do all the things. I really like to watch YouTube when I run, but a lot of you let me know you watch it when you walk, when you run on the treadmill, or even in your own kitchen. And I was thinking about trying that. So let me know, is there a channel you really, really like that you love to watch? Leave me a comment down below and let me know because I can put it on either on my TV or on Google and I feel like that would be kind of nice to watch. Have an awesome day and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye-bye.